Uh, just before we get involved with the 400 metres, we just heard a flash that Paula Dunn, in fact, has qualified in fourth place for the final of the ladies' 100 metres, 11.27. I think Vada must have been given the same time. Uh, she was, in fact, now it's official. So Paula Dunn has got through to the final. Fine run indeed. Heather Oakes, by the way, fifth in hers. Semi-final 11.29, and Sandra Whitaker was seventh in 11.51. And Sanchez of Spain, lane five in the 400 metres flat. Scamroll, the European record holder from West Germany, 103.7. He runs in lane number six. Lane seven, here's the camera, Machef of Yugoslavia, 46.23 this season. The athletes we didn't see while well, we're giving you the sprint news. Visserman in lane one. Roger Black in lane two, Zuliani in three, and Tolumtas of Turkey in lane four. Camera's concentrating on the European record holder, Erwin uh, Scamaral, but he's not been in really good form. There's Roger Black, who's the fastest man in the field in this uh, first round heat. The first three go through as of right in this 400 metres, first round, first heat. Black's gone off quickly, Zuliani has gone off very, very quickly indeed, and so too has Scamaral. Scamaral, the European record holder, pulled the Yugoslav right back as they approach 200 metres. But Roger Black using all that power down the back straight. And that wide angle there gives you the impression of the speed at which Black is running. He's really closed right down on the rest. And don't forget Scamaral, the European record holder, in lane six. Black in lane two has cut him right back. And Black now is safe. He looks round. He's only got to stroll home to qualify. Visserman going well for Holland and coming through is Sanchez. Scamroll struggling and it's Black going to win this for Great Britain. Sanchez in second place. Scamroll's got a problem and he loses out, I think, to Visserman. So Scamroll, number six in Europe this year. The European record holder looked to be in fourth place then and we'll have to wait to see if he qualifies as a fast loser. But what about that time when you saw the way Roger Black ran the race? He still clocked 45.41. And from here in, he was just striding. Visserman in second place, Zuliani fades badly, Sanchez comes through very strongly in the red vest of Spain, and Scamral is really rocking and rolling and struggling. But Visserman is tired too, and it's a photograph between the two of them for that vital third place. Well, we didn't stop the uh, slow motion on the line, so uh, we'll have to wait for this still frame. And by the way, the news, I'll give it to you in a moment, of Paula Dunn is interesting. She is in the final, but uh, this close-up of Roger Black's worth looking at. He really has become a superb athlete. And remember, he's only 20. Coached by Mike Smith, who also coaches Todd Bennett and uh, Chris Akabusi from the same club, Southampton and Eastleigh. But having, uh, well, won the race in the first 300 metres, he just relaxes and strides home and yet still clocks 45-4-1. So Roger Black very, very smoothly through. And that was a really fine piece of running. European junior champion last year, and he's really growing up. OK, now let's have a look back at that uh, photo finish of Scamaral, although he didn't get it on the line, and uh, Visserman in lane one. It's very close. Uh, Visserman, in fact, uh, doesn't dip there. He's leaning back, so it's going to be very awkward to sort that out. My first impression was that Visserman had got through. I think Scamroll thought he had as well because he looked very dejected. But we'll have to wait and see what the judges say.